Hello. Oh, ho, ho. What are you eating over there? I'm actually eating a fisherman's friend. Uh, fisherman's friend is a like a lozenger. Uh, I'm not even. I'm not sick. I like these lozenges so much. I just eat them for no reason. Lozenger or lozenge? Lozenge, lozenger, fucking whatever. <laughs> well, I'm just. I don't know. You eat the lozenge. The you're, lozenge. You 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 eat so much British stuff that maybe they you know they have different words for different things than us. The lozenge, lozenge. Yeah. But chips, I, I don't even chips need and it. fries. Like it. You know that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, you just yeah. you just like it. So you're yeah. like, so you're taking preventative medication. They're very, they're very very strong, <laughs> super strong. Yeah. What do they taste like? Uh, I they, I can't even describe the taste. They're so strong. The other day I was at I was at work and I had my mask on and I put one in. What a bad idea! Because with the mask on, it was causing it to go into like up my up the mask into my eyes and my eyes started tearing and burning. Mm-hmm. That's how strong it is. And I was like, oh, yeah, I can't I can't eat these with a mask on. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, um, they're good though. They're good. Yeah, and you know, you know what? It, you're right. All these terms that they have that are different than ours, and then they get all bent out of shape when. I call it the wrong thing. Like I'm supposed to know. But now here's a, here's a question for you. I understand that they came first. We came from them essentially in yeah. a way. Like like you know the Brits came right, right. came here and uh, uh, along with mixing with a bunch of other people, we are still using English, which is named after them. Uh, but technically, there's more of us now. So don't we get to dictate how the vocabulary goes at this point? There's like, th- there's like what three hundred and twenty million of us, uh, compared to whatever they have on that little island. So relax with the, <laughs> relax with that stuff. We we get to call the shots now. If we want to call something, yeah. uh, something that other than what you call it or pronounce it the way we want to call it. Well, if we want to call it aluminum instead of aluminium, you got to relax and get over it and get on board because because well, they'll listen, be like they'll be like yeah. If, you're if right. all English speakers got to take a vote on this we would win every time it wouldn't even be close so relax just you know well you know it, it's funny that like and i don't mind the different terms that's their terms that's their terms but when they get on me as if i'm supposed to know like like they're like oh my he called it a cookie it's a biscuit and i'm like no a biscuit in america is this piece of bread you throw some white gravy on it and you, right. you eat it like that right like and then they get bent out of shape and i'm like you you gotta you gotta understand it's different here, just like it's different there. Like right. it means something different. Well, chips are potato chips. Fries are, you know, they, they call everything different. They've also developed like a laziness kind of economy to their language. Like, yeah. like we would say go go to college, and they call it university, but they would say go university in a sense. Like they they like remove le- wor- words for some reason, uh, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm like I'm like come on man, it's not even a long word. It's, you know, like, it's like, you're not saving a lot of time typing or saying it, you know? Uh, right. So I don't know where that came from either, but. Uh, well, I, I do think it's, it's, to me, it's cool. It is, you know, cool to learn their, the different terms because they do say university. They do say. Uh, yeah, but it's like, you go, you won't go university or do you yeah. want to go to? It's like, there's, there's, right, a, right, right. there's like a, there's a little word that's supposed to go in that sentence to make it like grammatically correct. And right. like, they want to get up, they want to climb in our assholes over the way we pronounce things or the, or, or the way we eat something. And it's like, you, you're not even speaking the language you invented properly anymore. You, you guys have gotten sloppy and lazy over the years. So, ah, eh, whatever. Right. I, I don't want to beat yeah. on them too much because it's, it, it, they're kind of an easy target sometimes. Uh, and, and, well, uh, I don't want to be, those are my people. Like, I, I don't I, want you to beat on them either. Well, like, I, I would, I, I, I don't mind being bad cop. Don't make me turn on you. Listen, it, it would be kind of funny if I went heel on them and, and I started to enrage your fan base every week. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to, listen, I'm going to watch a few British movies this weekend, maybe a little British TV show, take some notes, uh, think of good ways to needle you people because, uh, because because now I'm inspired. You uh, this this casual conversation is uh giving me a gimmick for the next couple of weeks at least depending on how you respond. If if I get a if I get a good healthy response of anger, I'll keep going. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, but look, look. I I think it is interesting. It's different culture. Um you know, it's just it's, you know, relax a little bit. Take it easy. You know what? You know I I got a I'll move off this topic. 
I got a I got a text message from some. I mean, a a, a Facebook message from someone yesterday, and I was like, yeah. "Why would he be sending me a message?" And oh. <laughs> and you know who I'm talking about, right? Billy, it's got to be Billy. No, it's Disco Inferno. Oh, a former WCW uh, some kind of champion. Uh, I don't remember which belt he had, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, and TNA Impact guy. Uh, oh, and my former manager. And your Let's former manager. That. Let's not don't leave that Ring, out. Ring Warriors, uh, great. Uh, Disco yeah. Inferno. Uh, right. you know, amongst that crew, he stood out. Uh, and uh. <laughs> Uh, he sent me a message. I'm like, why is this guy sending me a message? We've been feuding for at least 10 years on Facebook. Uh, yeah. And uh, he, it was, uh, he apparently got hacked. He sent me a, he, a, a, a a brief message that said, is this you with a link? And when I clicked on the link, it took me to a, like a, it's obviously a fake page because it's like a fake Facebook right. page that wants you to log in as if you, as if all, as if between the time I was surfing Facebook and got right, the right. message from him, I had somehow logged out of Facebook. So I wonder how many people, I mean, obviously they got him uh, with it, but uh, either that or he, uh, he's, he's been messaging with too many bots that look like right. hot, hot 20 year olds with one pro with one photo and four friends. The, the Alex uh, Chamberlain effect. Yeah, got, got, I get it. Got fished by the Russians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I should. We should revisit that thread, and I should <laughs> throw that information. Go, Glenn. It got Glenn Gilberti. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I had so to, yeah, so, so I you thought it was really him messaging you. You got excited. Well, I thought it was him because it is him. They used his account to do it. Uh, but then yeah. it was a it was a phishing uh, message right. to try and get my Facebook login. I was like, nope, I I'm I know that one. Uh, so yeah, I, ho I was hoping this story was going a different direction. That it was really him. He really messaged you. And he wanted us to come on, keeping it real, or whatever it's called. No, but it's funny when you, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, although he does uh, troll the the Twitter every now and then. I think he did uh, today or yesterday. Was yeah. it yesterday? Yeah, he shit on the podcast yesterday. He did. He shit on us. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, yeah, but it's funny when you get these messages from people that you haven't spoken to uh, in like five years or three years or so. I, I like like. Because when that pops up, it shows the previous messages, and it was from the day Jackie died, and he was messaging me to confirm it because, uh, long story short, at three a.m. I got uh, I got like a Facebook call from uh, Shane David, who you know, and uh, right. if he's, I'm not going to go into who he is, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he. Jackie and I used to all go on those trips in the late nineties for wrestling autographs where we would go for out of town for like, you know, f f you know, four to eight days doing a circuit and, and stay at the hotels and go to the right. venues and the airports and hang out with the wrestlers at the, at the hotels and go to the shows. And we would come back. I would come back with uh, my binders like full. So like, I think my biggest haul was on one trip. I got like 800 autographs. I mean that's gonna, wow. that's gonna pay your pay your bills for a while. Right, right. So, uh, uh, so he messaged me and he was telling me that Jackie had died. I was like, no fucking way, get the fuck out of here. And and he's like, I swear and blah blah blah. And so then all of a sudden he's having Disco message me as if this is like my my you know like do your own research. Okay, let me consult Disco Inferno on things. Right, right, right. <laughs> That would be uh, probably the last person. Right, right. Uh, kind of like you were talking about today. Kevin Nash is tweeting about vaccinations or whatever the fuck. And Evan Courageous comes on to tell him his numbers are wrong. And I'm like sitting there going, hmm, which fucking yeah. pro wrestler right, am right. I consulting for my medical advice here? <laughs> <laughs> right, Kevin Nash or Evan Courageous. Right, I mean, yeah. like, like, neither one's a good idea. But it's, uh, you know, of the two, I... I don't know why. Maybe it's just the guy that was more over and more successful in the business. I tend right. to want to believe for some illogical reason. But I'm like, like raising you one, one Evan Courageous ain't doing much. <laughs> right, right, right. 
Right. Unless that guy yeah. quit when he left the business, went into when it got a doctorate in like fucking general pra- practitioner or something, you know, I don't know. Right. But uh yeah, so I don't know where we were. Oh, so yeah, so it was just weird like to to see like the last time we had ever cuz we don't have a discourse. It's only our exchange is completely just trolling each other on social medias. We do not. Right. Like, That's why it's we weird. do not yeah. on the side have like a, ha ha. Hey buddy, what's going on? Hey, you want to play it? No, right. we just, so the only time he had, me, he had messaged with me was, was to help confirm that Jackie had died. I'm like, All right. so I realized that it was just a weird, weird callback to get in, in that phishing message. So I, I, I uh I think he got his account back, but who knows? He must have because he trolled you after that. But he, but not on Facebook. He did it with um, a different. Oh, that's right, 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 right. I, oh right, no, right. you know what I did see? He did make a Facebook post that said, "If if I, if I send anyone a video, don't open it." <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, yeah. So. That's, funny, that's, funny. That's, yeah. Well. I uh, I've been on a webinar since ten o'clock this morning, and it's just it's grueling. Do Absolutely want, grueling. Do we want to admit you're still on it? <laughs> no, it's a it's a break right now. Oh, we're okay. On a break. I was gonna say if you were, I was if we're podcasting during your webinar, maybe you don't want to let everyone know. Uh, yeah, no, they get, it, it. It's supposed to end at four, but they're having some technical difficulties, so they told everybody to take a take a break. I don't think we're coming back here. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or you're going to be on till eight. Um, yeah. So what else is going on? It's only been a day or two, but I I figure uh, I figure yeah, this this three days a week thing is this is this is taxing. <laughs> it shouldn't be. Yeah. It shouldn't be. Your life is is interesting enough that it shouldn't be. <laughs> it, if yeah. no, if nothing else, uh, within a two day span, you usually have some food adventure that's gone like out of control and taken a hard left, uh, somewhere. So, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I didn't, even, I don't even know. I wasn't like setting you up for something, but I just know, you know, well, I mean, I'm home today working. So, you know, the, the, the fridge is 10 steps away. I may have eaten like four times, but well, the fridge is only 10 <laughs> steps away. If you're, if you're like 10 steps from it, you could go work upstairs and be like, you know, 50 steps away and not be worth it. You know? Yeah. That, that well, I mean, I, I mean, I may have had like a sandwich. I, I feel like had... you're, you're working from the kitchen. <laughs> is what I'm, I, is... I'm definitely working from the kitchen. <laughs> Oh. I've had two cups of coffee, a sandwich, and a peanut, uh, uh, like a jelly sandwich I made, and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's it. You fat pig. That's it. I made a, I made a, I made a meatloaf today, and mm. I, I ate half of it with scrambled eggs. I, I think uh, you're only. Like you made a full meatloaf. I made a full meatloaf and then cut three very big fucking slices and put them on the plate and realize I just cut, I just took half of the fucking meatloaf. Usually people, you know, usually that's supposed to feed the whole family. But, uh, but, but wait, 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 did you say you eat meatloaf with eggs? Yeah, I had scrambled eggs on the side. Like, uh, you know, what? Who does that? I mean, someone who's who just started the keto diet today. <laughs> that, that seems a little ridiculous. Well, what, what, what would you, what, I mean, what would you eat with meatloaf? Uh, definitely not eggs. I'd well, make like a mashed potato. Right. So instead of mashed potatoes, I had eggs. They're, oh. It's kind of visually similar. Uh, scrambled eggs from uh from like five it feet back. Sound... No, no, no. <laughs> did you mix them together? Like what no, did you no, do? no. I you... just had. What was the technique you okay. used? I cooked the meatloaf, which took an hour, and then when it came out, I cut I t- I cut three slices, put them on the plate, and while that was kind of and, and sprinkled some cheese on it and hot sauce. And while that was like melting the cheese, I fired up the uh, burner and cooked the f- the three scrambled eggs I had. And two minutes later, dumped them on the plate. The meatloaf was cool enough at that point. And boom, boom, boom. Then I could like have a bite of eggs. I could have a bite of meatloaf. I could have a bite that had meatloaf and eggs together on it. It was it was pretty versatile. It was good. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I. Uh, I yeah, you, what 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 did you? I am not on keto. Yeah. So. Uh, well, we know that. 
We, I, all we have to do I, is I tune have, in to TikTok any day right. and see that. I mean, I take one bite, I put it away. You Stop do your not. nonsense. <laughs> Every video I'm now watching, I'm counting the bites so I can comment how many bites you <laughs> took. Or, or, or I comment, I only take one bite. <laughs> and apparently those uh, people appreciate those comments. I usually get several likes on them. So... Yeah, I saw the one you had quite a few. I was like, this asshole. <laughs> I I had a. Uh, you ever have mortadella? What is it? It's a deli meat. So it it looks like best way I could describe it. Is it, it like, like olive olive loaf or something? Like bologna so it looks with like olives? bologna, but it's got pistachios. Oh, in pistachios. It. Okay, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. No, I've never so tried. I bought it. some of that. But what is and, the uh, meat? Is it is it bologna? It's like bologna. I don't know. It tastes like bologna. Well. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay. Okay. And? Uh, it's. I'm actually going to look it up because I really don't know what it is. Yeah, but did you like it? Okay, so I took it with mortadella is an Italian cold cup made of pork and studded with pistachios. It's seasoned with a mixture of peppers, caraway, and garlic. Yeah, it's good. And I put it with, I made a little sandwich with that, uh, Salami, ham, and some provolone cheese, and I toasted it. It was fucking beautiful, like a whole fucking Italian loaf. Did you go like? I, full I cut a. I cut. It was honestly. It was. It was probably less. A little less than a half of a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Like if you were to get one at Publix. Right, but you'll have and, another one later. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, the Giants do play tonight, so. The what? Oh, the Giants. The Giants. I, I, when you said the Giants are playing, the words ran together where all I heard was souffle. Like it, like, like the S from Giants and are playing sounded like souffle. I'm like, oh. this fucking fat pig. <laughs> 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 or maybe that's that's me being a fat pig, but I'm not a dessert guy. So if I'm here in desserts. So well, we so anyway, I, 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 uh. What were you even talking about? You, you, I, I made the sandwich and I ate it. I don't understand. Why is, you think I'm going to eat it again? Well, I think, the other half? Yeah, I think it's early in the day. You're, you're bound to have at least another sandwich. No, I mean, we got dinner later, you know. <laughs> right. And then going to make some nice food for the Giants game, you know, yeah. watch them get their asses whooped again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, who are they playing? Washington. Okay. Well, that I, I don't know, man. We'll see. Didn't didn't Washington just lose their starting quarterback? <laughs> they they have no quarterback. Right. So yeah. So so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I'm saying there's a chance. Uh, you lost yeah. your you, you lost your star running back two years in a row here. <laughs> oh, he's all, he's out again today. I think. Uh, has he he hasn't played a full season yet? Has he? No, and this is questionable tonight. Uh, so uh, yeah, but uh, I'm I'm gonna make a little spread tonight, and uh, I bet, you know I bet you will. I I. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely have. Is there uh, going to be a theme? I mean, the theme is, is I'm fat and just going to eat whatever. <laughs> well, I didn't know if you were like going to like make Italian food or you were going to make like. A, well, I, there, you know. there is something else, and I'm I'm very, very hesitant to tell you this because <laughs> because uh, you'll just ride me about it. But uh, so so uh, we we have a, a friend of the show, Sarah. <laughs> she's in town. She's in town this weekend, uh-huh. and uh, she's going to. Stop by to watch the game tonight, right? We're uh-huh. gonna watch the game. We're gonna have a little food, but she went way above and beyond and ordered cannolis and Italian rainbow cookies from. Uh, she got cannolis from Carlo's Bakery in New Jersey. She delivered here, and Italian rainbow cookies from Ferrara. Are they there? And- Oh, if he has definitely knocked on the door today. Uh, I was gonna say if I you were still inside. waiting for him, I'm, I'm, it would make me nervous. Oh and, no, and create, they're here, and I'd have anxiety, and I'd have to keep checking in to make sure they showed up. <laughs> no, they came, and the UPS guy came twice, and I he goes, I don't know why they didn't just have me deliver it once. And I said, well, they're Italian pastries. He's like, well, if I would have known that beforehand, <laughs> he's like, they wouldn't have been delivered. I was like, huh. should have should have so, opened it up and shared one with him. Uh, I, damn, she said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, I, uh, gonna hold off on eating them till here, till later. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna watch Giant game. But, you know, Giants and, and, uh, You've Washington st- should be boring. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I can't see the, I can't see the score being more than like 10 9 or something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so, yeah, and, uh, you know, I'm just, 
Yeah, your team, your Over team's here. terrible. I, I'm terrible. I'm so excited for the Dolphins now that we won against New England in New England, uh, and right. we've beaten New England twice in a row now. Uh, we beat them at the end yeah. of the season last year. That, I'm I'm kind of excited, and uh, I think we get some more players back from injuries uh, this week. Uh, some some of the kind of playmakers on offense. So I'm I'm kind of uh, and if if they actually throw the ball to. Uh, Gasecki, uh once this game, I'll even be more excited. <laughs> yeah, and I had him last year in fantasy. Think I, I mean, I don't know. If I think a, he was be a part he just of had team a or not. hot and cold weeks. I assume that it it felt like it last year. You know, they're just like whatever offensive game plans they had. One week it was they'd be you know concentrating on him, and the next week he'd be run blocking the whole right. time or would never get thrown to. He was just a decoy. So yeah, it's right. a little inconsistent, you know, but. uh but I'm really excited about my team. I mean, we did well last year, and uh, I mean, it's rare to get off to a hot start against a division rival and one that generally just beats everybody in the league. So, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I, I looked at our schedule, and it's like a murderer's road. That like the the be- at least the beginning of the schedule. I mean, like. Like the Bills are on there, and Tampa Bay's on there, and well, not for nothing. But I thought the Bills look like crap. I mean, they play Pittsburgh. I mean, maybe both those teams yeah. are actually good, and they went toe to toe. They true, they true. just traded blows for most of the game, and it kind of yeah. went, ended up being a high scoring affair. And uh, so I don't know, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll see. They've they've been a they, they've been a thorn in our side more than any team the last couple of years. We just haven't matched up well with them. Yeah. They, they probably well, have the best. It'll be a good, nice season here. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be exciting. Yeah, I wish. Yeah. I, well, I, I wish uh, it was Sunday already. But at least, at least our games are one instead of four this week. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. I, uh, I, I have uh, back to talking about British foods because you know those are my people. Uh, my ta- my kitchen table. It's actually absurd. The situation I have going on in my kitchen right now. So my kitchen table is covered in in different chocolates, like stuff I've not eaten yet. Then on my little, like I have this, like I don't even know what you'd call it. I guess they call it like a I don't know, like a dinner bar. It's like it's like a like a longer kind of fancy table with doors, not table, but like a shelf, like a I don't know what you'd call it. Anyway, it's like a piece in the kitchen. On top of that right now is one, two, three, four, four full bags of chocolate, two boxes, and then two like Amazon package bags. Literally the entire thing is – you can't put anything else on there. The whole cal- countertop of that thing is covered in British chocolates. What, I mean – So what rule do you have in the house? Are, are, do the kids dive into that stuff or are they like uh... – No. So Nick doesn't touch it because Nick doesn't like sweets. Lex only likes it if it has a mint flavor to it. Okay. So she refused to eat anything else. But the mint stuff, people actually started sending stuff with specific notes that these mint things are for Lex. I'm like, what? How did she even get on this? Oh, so, that's bullshit. She hasn't earned. Right. She hasn't earned the right. Like at least, no. a, at least uh, appear in some videos and stuff and contribute. Earn, earn right. Your, so earn your earn your treats. Keep her on here. Yeah. Right. So she's she has like some you know but. So at least, I literally thought at least to the myself, dog, at least the dog has to sit for a fucking right. a bone, you know? Right, right. But I sat here and thought, like, I have to at some point when I get free time in the next couple of days here or next week or something, I have got to go through this because A, some of it's open and it's, you know, like the chips, if they're open, they're stale. I gotta toss them. Once I've made a video, they gotta go. But I've really gotta break down what I've tried and what I've not tried because I have no idea. It is just a mishmash of British chocolates everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. And uh I'm silence that. Um British chocolates everywhere. It's it's out of control. It's 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 pretty overwhelming because I don't know what's what. I've got boxes on the floor. It's just it's, it's a shit show of chocolate. Total shit show. Mm. So I've got to go through all that and see kind of break down what is what and you know, people keep messaging me, what have you not tried? I don't know what I I know what I've not tried. I don't know if I have it. What do you mean? Because like I have no just idea. just random stuff or stuff that you have? Because well, like how would like, how would you know what you haven't tried? You don't even know what's out there. You don't live in England. 
Well, no, no, but they'll say like, hey, you know. Or the UK, uh, whatever you want to, yeah. They, they'll be like, have you tried this? And they'll name something, but then I won't like, I won't have like, you know, uh, I, won't, I won't have like. Recall and on I, whether you tried right, it or not. Right. Well, if I've tried it, I'll know. I can say, okay, I've had this before. I know that. But if they say, have you had it? And I say, well, I've not had it. And they'll say, well, I'll send it to you. I have to tell them to hold off because I don't know what I have. Like, I don't know if I have it or not. So I have oh, to, like, do oh. an inventory check. Well, yeah. Well, oh, listen. I, in that last ramble that you gave about how much stuff you have and throwing stale bags, at you, I saw what you did there. You were trying to uh, kind of save a little face as if you don't eat everything once you open a bag of chips or a candy bar, you only take the one bite. I see what you did there. You were trying to convince people that you're not a total pig. And I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to call foul on that. Uh because I don't I'm not buying it for a second. But 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 aside from that, you're you're turning down free stuff. Maybe you liked it even though you've tried it before and they're willing to send you more of it. So you're saying I should go for like a round 2. I'm just saying I'm just saying even though you haven't tried it, it doesn't mean you don't want them to send it to you, especially with Halloween coming up. <laughs> well, here's the second, you, the you, second thing. You could start regifting that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the, the second thing is, is that uh, people keep asking me if there's a wish list. If I have one, I don't even know how to make one. I mean, again, I love when you say shit like this because we live on the tail end of 2021. You could literally go to Google and type in, how do I create a wish list on Amazon? And there were <laughs> links for YouTube videos yeah, works, and and websites and everything will come up. But it's <laughs> but you are just so bad at this that <laughs> you can't even just Google it. Instead, <laughs> you just kind of stand, look around after you get that message and right. shrug to yourself and, right. and then move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna try to create one. I'm gonna try to oh create one. Oh my god, you kill me! <laughs> I'm gonna try to make one, and then like, the, like, the, the, listen. We know some of the fucking brain dead, useless fucking people o occupying space on this planet that have wish lists. If they can fucking figure it out, you better be able to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But you've raised you, you've raised two children. <laughs> you can fucking make a Can't wish list on Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> well, so so I will do that. But here's the other thing. So I started today, like you know, I'm at 191, 190.1k followers. So I'm just I'm creeping still. Like I'm getting every day. It's like got, more and more. I was about to get angry because you started sending. I'm at 190. I go, bitch, you're 270. <laughs> <laughs> I am 270. Uh, um, yeah, but so I, I, I started like I see the you know 190 thousand followers, 190.1 at that now, 2.7 million likes. Yeah, yeah. My videos okay. in the last 60 days. Very Horowitz over here. Over 17, back. over 17 million views on my videos in the last 60 days. Yeah. So I got this bright idea today to start searching. How does one hire a TikTok or social media agent or manager? Like I'm going to hire somebody to take me to the next level. I, I no, Googled it for about two that. minutes and don't, then I gave, I gave up. Don't do that. You don't need that. Somebody's got to – I need to be taken to the next level. Uh, what you does know, that mean my, to take you to the next level? My, my, You're going there now. My, wait my fake manager I got over here, dummy, he can't do nothing for me. Dummy, wait till you've plateaued before you need help. You're you're moving in the right direction. What do you need? Why are you see? I need, I, I need what, like what, a TV show gonna, or like a movie I, script. I told you. I don't know. We're going to film a pilot and we're going to fucking, we're going to sell fun. These people are going to get you 10% of something. I'm talking, you're going to get 40% of something. I got Howard Brody out there telling me he's going to pitch a show to Netflix. <laughs> yeah, I don't That guy, that, you know. oh, listen. He's your friend. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Dude, don't do that yeah. stuff without talking to me. Not not because I want to do the work, but at least let me cancel you on not giving away. Like if you're paying them <laughs> to do what your account is already doing right now, you're a moron. You got to wait till no, you No, 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 but I think you're misunderstanding. I don't want somebody to do my account can do it itself. I need somebody to 
put me in front of like network executives or somebody that has oh a connection you, that can get first me of all, you know, like a like a movie deal maybe like you you're know like a, a, you're at, well, first of all I think Look, we have to have no, an no, 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 intervention. No. You're way no intervention. out of your no. fucking mind. Your head, like your ego, your 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 like. I could be the next big thing, and they don't even know it. You are the next knows. big thing. Just ask the scale. But other than that, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 no. Listen, no. kid. I, I see <laughs> the TikTokers on the. You know, they got their own their own. You know, lines at the stores and Target and. And Abercrombie, and yeah, but they've there's got, no older guy. They need an older two. guy to have his own like food line. It needs to be like you, you like, need like two more zeros at the end of your numbers. <laughs> right, I need to have like the AJ Slambino like hot sauce or You're, something. I'm just I saying. Mean, I'm just saying. You're counting your. Oh, you, you and Gang Girl can be on the shelves together. Uh, let's. <laughs> <laughs> anyone can make a hot sauce. Listen, if uh, listen, no, if I love Dave, but let's let's be honest. Those hot sauces, you're buying someone else's hot sauce and you're having them slap a label on it, a label yeah. on it and then they help distribute yeah. it to wherever you could sell it. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, uh, uh, hot sauce isn't a fucking, uh, like a measuring stick. Let's put it that way. Um, uh, yeah, just, just, I think, uh, I think we need to call Billy in on this. Uh, we need to kind of no, no, no. rein in this, Billy for? rein in this ego. Cause uh, you're not there yet. You got. You need another zero at the end of everything. Before he you, doesn't know. Billy before Billy you start know talking the TikTok. about. Before you start. To, no, just in your 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 out of control attitude here. Your your mental illness. Your your. No, I'm, th I'm thinking your big delusions. And you're thinking small. Your delusions of grandeur. Oh no, I'm the one that's always pitching ideas. But I'm realistic to know that you can't get those gigs yet. Nobody's gonna take your Why? call at two hundred thousand followers. You, you don't know they could see me and go, this guy, this guy's a star, bro. You like, you work hidden talent. You work for a you work for a publicly traded company, and they haven't knocked on your door yet, and they are all aware of your TikTok success. Well, I mean, you know, listen, it's not a food <laughs> company, and they're not big in the UK. <laughs> I need like I should like Nando's chicken should be oh my like God. I should be on Nando's billboard like eat chicken with Nando's chicken sauce. Do they have it's it? American. Do like, they have it here? Nando's is in America, yeah. Okay, well then there you go. You've got that's yeah. that's one possibility. I mean, but you aren't even you like Cadbury. I mean, Cadbury hasn't even called me, and I'm like, <laughs> well, you but know, you... we're tagging them. We're... I just need Cadbury to go. Hey, we're gonna send you here for the Cadbury just tour. A, you can't even... you know put you on a billboard or maybe right. in a Cadbury commercial. You can't even get free stuff from the local uh, British reseller. They get they instead they give you a cup of tea and like a ten percent discount. So let's again measuring ten percent power. Relax, relax, <laughs> relax. Uh, you know what I'm saying. So let's, but I, I'm just you're not. You're I'm trying thinking to, big picture. You're trying to sprint before you can crawl. Oh, that's all I'm like, saying here. Like they'll be like the Cadbury Easter Bunny for Easter, and then the Cadbury AJ Bunny for like October or something. Like I should have my own bunny like bar. Just, I should have my own chocolate bar. You're just taking bites and not swallowing. You're gonna choke on your own ambition here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I, I listen. Trust me. I more than anyone understand the concept of not having to want to punch the clock and work. 40 hours a week to make someone else rich okay i understand this concept uh right i'm just saying you, you gotta you need another zero on the end of all your stuff you gotta put a little more work in or no, or I you've got to put a little more work in on the stuff that i always call you lazy on you know the like doing a second take or or doing an extra video or doing this or doing that did you did you upload the uh the chip challenge yet so, okay, I got all the videos saved. Uh -huh. I put them into a uh, iMovie because you got to put them all together. Why do you have to and, put them all uh, Why would you put them all together? Put them up as five. Because they're so long. They're one, they're a minute. They're less than a minute. Nobody each. wants to watch five fucking videos. See, this is what you don't get. You put five videos out. You label them one of five, two of five, three of five. That way people want to go to your page to find the other one. A little editing, gotta do a little editing. You're ridiculous. A little editing. I regret even I regret even proposing this to you. You 
And again, I if, still look. I still want to get the wrestling stuff. If you just stuff. threw it up, if you just threw it up there, boom, you'd be rolling. But instead, it's going to take five days, and you're going to forget, and you're going to get lazy. I know you, man. I know you better than you know yourself. There's no, you're you're know totally you. out of line. You know I'm right. That's why you're getting. That's why you're getting a little. Uh, I can, you could feel the sting of those words because they ring true. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Well, totally wrong. Well, uh, the other thing I want to talk about, unless you've got something yeah. else, did you, did I got you, nothing else. Did, check your notes. You did take notes, right? You did make notes because you're taking this one. Uh, yeah, I had right? notes. Notes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was it yeah. AEW last night, man? Uh, yeah. I guess you got your little wrestling talk in. Yeah, I mean, I figure if we're going to talk wrestling on these shows, some my, it, right. you know, it's the day after. It's it's fresh in our minds. Uh, we're we're guys right. with bad memories, so. I feel you know, like talk before, about it now. before we get into that, can I just bring up one thing? Please. I I know you don't check the Instagram often. What uh, is, the messages? I mean, if the there's messages. a message, I do check, like a direct message. Yeah. Yeah. Why? So, we got a message today. Uh huh. Well, we got two. One actually says, "Hey there, wild woman." I'm assuming that's spam. Yeah. <laughs> and the second one says, "Adam Barrasano." mentioned you in their story right uh-huh i go to his story at 324 there's nothing there it says 320 he deleted it so or, barisano tagged or, us in something or his story ran the 24 hours and is gone now no 324 today are you uh maybe i think he may, he accidentally tagged us in something hey uh, that could be too yeah, could be. Oh, well, what what does this have to anyway, do? With anything? I think you just put everyone to sleep. No, with just that. I. Well, I just want to get you fired up with Adam Barrison. Nah, he doesn't. He's, he's he's harmless and, he's harmless. and borderline retarded, yeah. anyways. So, so any, anyway, uh, yeah, although so since we are, if we are going to talk about him for a second, let me call him out yeah. publicly. Here we go. I knew it. Less than a month ago, well, probably a month ago now, he made some grand fucking post. About how no longer am I going to have negativity. I, I'm not going to post about negativity. And he, and he also singularly called out, I'm not going to talk about uh, Trump. And I'm not going to talk about uh, COVID. I, I'm pretty sure those were the three things he said. And okay. less, less than a month later, he was railing about all three in one post. <laughs> and I wanted to call him out on it, but I knew he would... I knew that his head would explode, and then they'd have to clean up the bits out of the carpet. So, uh, since you brought uh, him up, I figured I'd call him out on his. Well, I'm just. I was like, I, I'm. I'm glad that uh, not even a I month. Get you going about and him. your and your August resolution to uh, to make Facebook a better place uh, failed. Uh, anyway, yeah. go, go ahead. So wrestling, yeah, yeah good. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad I got you sidetracked on that embarrassing. <laughs> uh, wrestling. So yeah, AEW last night. What'd you think? I thought they had another home run. I and and I, I thought th so too. I there were, I don't think there was a bad segment on the show, really. Although I didn't really watch the women's match so much, so well, oh, I obviously you didn't. I yeah, right. Forgot there was a women's match on the show, right. and then complained right. about it to you. And then you said, "Wait yeah. a minute, there was one." I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, you're right." I just I think I think that was pee break and make an iced coffee time for me. Uh, yeah, you missed that one. But yeah, no, I think they hit another home run too. I think it was a solid show. The promos, I, we talked about this. Everyone, were fantastic. it's amazing that everyone that gets on the microphone is like just yeah. is at least hitting a triple nowadays. And they right. even like uh, after MJF did another monster promo, and I, 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 literally, I was drinking when he looked up to pray to Brian Pillman Senior. And then said, who right. am I kidding? And looked right. down to hell to pray to him. Uh, I literally spit water everywhere, got choking, because I was like, oh, my God, this is yeah. this is so out of control. Um, and then I thought, because the previous week, let's talk about this for a minute. He and, uh, he and Pillman Jr. were face-face in the ring, kind of exchanged uh, insults a little bit or, or took turns right. promoing on each other. And you could tell, you you saw a guy who's like – seasoned five tool fucking player against a very green guy that's not comfortable talking live in front of people and you know blah blah right. blah so we were wondering why they in this week 
they had MJF in the ring talking to the crowd and then followed that with a sit down where the other guy is talking to Jim Ross. And it made sense because you can protect that guy. He is not going to stumble or get lost or intimidated in the ring doing it. And you can even do retakes if you want to redo a line or or whatever, take some direction or whatever. So I thought even that was really smart of them. They protected one of their guys that kind of got exposed last week. Um, uh, but I mean, everything, everything right. everyone else, uh, that guy, Dan Lambert, that I don't I guess he owns America's top team. Yeah, he is. The First of all, it's cool that he's now managing two wrestlers, but right. comes with like three to five MMA guys that train at his centers that are like former champions or just, or even like borderline household names in the sport of uh, MMA. I mean, last right. night he brought uh, Ar Arlovsky, Dos Santos, and Paige Van Zant, and two others that I didn't even recognize. Um, and uh, this guy is, I don't, I could, I think he could go toe to toe with anyone ever that did wrestling promos. Uh, he's probably, yeah, could be one of the best, I would say. The only, the yeah. only, thinking back, the only thing I did not like about what he said, he said a lot of stuff that's like, yeah, 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 these guys flipping around for 10 yeah. minutes and blah, blah. He shouldn't have, like, kind of exposed that it's fake in that, right, that right, after right. all of this, they, they, they still kick out. He should have edited that out. Yeah, yeah, but I think this age of wrestling fans gets that. Well, that, like, that appeals directly to the internet wrestling fans. A community but right. but if you're like like for me like sometimes you just want to still have some suspension of disbelief or pretend like if you're going to pretend it's right. on tv you should always pretend it's real yeah it is what i think you know when you when you do your social medias or your interviews on youtube or whatever you can then kind of acknowledge the fact that is predetermined but i don't like blurring that line unless you're like having a CM Punk pipe bomb moment or something yeah. um, where you're then like, you're now talking now, this is now Phil talking, not CM Punk. Uh, so other than right. that, the Dan Lambert promo was a 10 out of 10 and they, you know, Jericho comes out with uh, a, I want to say swagger, but that's not his name anymore. Hager and uh, Hager's an MMA guy. So it works great. And it did work. I thought that too. It worked fantastic. And now to have those that. two guys are going to tag against the two wrestling guys that Lambert's kind yeah. of embraced. And, right. and then you can expand from that and Lambert and you can mix in some of his uh, MMA guys to maybe right. work against Jericho's whole faction, you know? So the, I, I really liked it. And Jericho and Lambert going toe to toe with each other, doing promos I with mean, each other was Jericho said the word pussy on national. Television. I know that major, I, that, that major wig fly off your head, but uh, I to me, yeah. they said shit like twenty times on the show. Pussy right, is kind of right. like harmless, you know. Yeah. At that point, uh, I did see your boy Disco uh, uh, agreed with the criticism. Oh, he was. A, so I was going to bring that up today yeah. that he he was like, "Ah, they curse too much." I was like, "Shut up, old man." But yeah, but if him you and, want him and Mark Madden, yeah. But if you want to argue that point, it's like that's the way people talk. That's as real as it gets. I mean, that's how I talk. That's, but I mean, <laughs> but you get into a heated conversation where you're a, right. you're literally a step away from throwing hands. Hey. Your language is going to be salty. You're not going to be like saying the word stuff, and you know, you know the, and it's it's really amazing to look back that 20 years ago TNT was the more conservative uh, channel of the two during the Monday Night Raw wars. And to a certain extent, when Vince went full hog attitude era, that they held WCW back from seeing and raising them on a lot of their stuff. Right. And now, all the way around, Vince is now PG-13, and they bleep even the crowd doing a chant that has a salty word in it, where right. TNT's letting them... I mean, there's not even a count. Like, we'll allow you three shits per show. No, no, no. Like... Tonight's episode was peppered with them. So, uh, well, and and then I saw TNT even. Tweet yeah, they even tweeted about it. Are we right, even like allowed to make fun out of it? Yeah, me. they were like right. joking. Are we even allowed to say shit on TNT? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's great, but it's great because their right. part, their broadcast partner is full on on board, <laughs> is embracing everything they do. Obviously, are happy with what they're doing if they're even doing stuff like that. 
uh, which is only going to help them succeed more. But that that show, every match was great. Even the setups when they when they set up, like they set up two matches for next week, and next week's cards are off the charts. But like, yeah. but like you you set up. Uh, I I was so excited. I'm like I'm watching them beat up Sting, and I'm like, oh my god, give us Darby and Sting versus the the revival, yeah. F- FTR or whatever they're called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then by the next commercial break, it had been booked and was advertised for New York in front of huge crowds, and I'm like, this right. is great. And uh, you know, you do you can do this. I I feel like all these old timers. It's like Suzuki also. They booked it as a tag yeah. match because these guys can't have Sting and Suzuki. Suzuki proved it's really not going to be the greatest match if it's him one on one with someone for for more than five minutes. So you protect these guys. They pop in for their big stuff. They pop out, and in the meantime, it becomes a great wrestling match because everyone else can right. work, work their asses off. So yeah, for sure. So very exciting stuff. Um, I, I don't yeah. know. So, and I and I, I didn't tell you this. Uh, so, my buddy last night, we, I worked with him. We were going back and forth. To just you know, we always text on Wednesdays about it. And uh, he mentioned that he has an extra ticket to a show January sixth, uh, AEW show. And I was like, Oh, really? I was like, Where is it? He's like, New Orleans. And he's like, You want to go? I, I I think I'm gonna go. Well, I you- think January sixth, I'm gonna head to New Orleans, and I'm gonna go. It's very it's very interesting because. How long has it been bef- since you would travel to go see to a, show. a wrestling show? Like, oh, sure, right. if you if if like the WWE was in your hometown and you got free tickets, you'd go. I would go, right? Like, I mean, but but the last... there's no effort to that. But to like be like, right. I'm going to make a trip and go see these guys somewhere. Granted, right. it's a trip to right. New Orleans I would never... too, but. Uh, right, true, but it's the middle of the week too. It's not like I, right. you know. But I'll say I, I. Uh, but it's been twenty years since that kind of excitement to want right, to do something. The only, like that. The, the only wrestling shows like WWE shows I've been to in the last, you know, even ten years were because I got. I think I went to Raw twice because Norman got me tickets once, and uh, Jackie got me through Titus O'Neil tickets. Uh, but you were taking or your Byron, kids, Byron, right? Right, it was me and Nick, right, right. right. So you, or it was Byron, Byron. Uh, what's his name? Huh? The announcer, Byron, By- oh, Byron, Byron Saxon, the announcer. He got the tickets for us, yeah, I think so. Which is when well, I've worked him before, but uh, yeah, he. That's the only two times I think I've been in ten years, maybe even longer than that. Yeah, no, it's probably been ten years. Right, but and, that's that's like a local, and it was a hookup, and now you're. So the hookup, right? You're spending money to go right somewhere to see wrestling, which is crazy. Who, you right. know, and especially for cause... for a, like a guy that's been wrestling on and off for right. what you've been 15, 20 years. Twenty years, yeah. Yeah, but like a lot of guys, are like I'm not, a, I'm not a mark. I'm not going to that shit. You know. Yeah, I would totally go though. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but the, other, the funny thing is, is so the uh, you know talking about the wrestling shows we've gone to, we went to a. I want to say we went to a pay-per-view, me and Nick. Uh, and Nick pulled a picture up the other day and said, look, and it's there because they had Norman got us. And we were like second row or something. And uh, Norman had got us tickets and there we are. or It was a Raw or something. And there we are, second row of Raw. You could see us. It had to have been like, Raw. Uh, yeah, it was Raw. It was Raw. If it was a, you could see if, us. If it was a pay-per-view, you would have had those collector chairs in those. Uh, yeah, no, no, it was, it was, it was raw, and yeah. we were like second row, and you can see us. Uh, Nick pulled up some like some screenshots from WWE from that show, and there we are, and like you know, all the shots. Uh, I remember, I remember too that show. It was in, uh, I can't remember if that was South Carolina or Florida, but the girl sitting next to me was by herself, uh, super attractive, like dressed very like provocatively, and uh, she said. At one point, she leaned over and, like, during like, a break commercial, and she said, uh, do you know one of the wrestlers? And I said, well, uh, I had gotten tickets from Norman that time. And I said, well, Norman Smiley, who works for them, got me tickets, blah, blah, blah. I said, who got you tickets? And she literally said to me, actually, I can't tell you that because they're married. I was like, oh, all right. 
she was a rat and uh, she was the local town rat and she's like i said eh, i won't even ask anymore she's like yeah i wouldn't tell you anyway i was like wow did she yeah. have did she have pink hair no i was no. i was making a pinky joke i don't know if, no. you, I don't know if you remember that famous no. one she's uh no no this girl was, she was uh, famous definitely... for uh kind of being billy Gunn's rat back in the day while he was and he was married and she created yeah. all kinds of drama she i think she did one of the cardinal sins by making it public and because i mean he probably because yeah. he like told her enough's enough you're you're i'm cutting you loose uh and yeah. even to the point where she had taken a picture with her and him in bed together while he was sleeping oh. kind of with that dirty deal and stuff anyway i think some of my friends are actually friends with her so i hope they uh I, none of them will hear this anyways but uh yeah, yeah she was like a famous so, one, like if you Pinky, uh, and she always had pink hair, yeah. which I guess is why she was called Pinky. Yeah, that 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 I, I'll never forget that. But before that show, uh, when we were out, so we were waiting for Will Call to get the tickets. It was uh, so it was me and Nick, and there was these two big giant guys. They were like monsters, and uh, there was a, a little old woman with uh, some other like. There was an old woman. It was a group of women and one guy. And it was, I just remember the old woman. So we're kind of just standing there. And the one guy was like, the big guy was like, are you waiting for like, we'll call, do you know somebody? And I said, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting tickets. He's like, who are you getting them from? I was like, Norman Smiley. And he's like, oh, I was like, you, what about you? And he's like, Bray Wyatt. I was like, oh, the guy. So we ended up having a conversation. Like we're talking, you know, uh, he said that he had worked with Bray doing some music and some stuff and some other shit and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, we just shot the shit, whatever. Well, the, then the old woman was like, oh, uh, do you guys know Daniel Bryan? And we're like, yeah. She's like, he's my, my, uh, he's my grandson. And we're like, whoa. She's like, yeah, we live in North Carolina and, uh, we're, we're all excited. Like we, we never got to see him wrestle live and like now he's in wwe and she's like they all had his gear on and everything like you know all his, his shirts and stuff yeah and there was the whole family and she sat there and talked to us for like 20 minutes before will call had our tickets but the guy who knew bray wyatt i'm one day watching tv and i see the guy on tv and i'm like that guy looks fucking familiar Right, and it was he was on like American Idol or something. This guy, and I'm like this guy, you recognize, but Andy Roddick at the, in the fucking Publix parking lot, you can't yeah. fucking bother. <laughs> no, no clue who he was. Uh, but it's funny. So like, I see this guy on TV, and I'm like, well, that guy looks looks familiar. Like, and he was on like a uh, yeah, he was on one of the like a show, like American Idol or something, and. Next thing I know, I don't even remember his name now at this point. Some, something Bennett or something like that. He became like a big musician. And uh, I had like seen a couple times like when I was like living in South Carolina, they'd be like, you know, he was like on, you know, he was like on tour or whatever. And he became like this giant musician. And I was like, I met that guy. He's friends with Bray Wyatt. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. But then Daniel Bryan's grandma, which was weird. She was so excited to see him. I mean, wouldn't you? If you if your grandkid was wrestling, yeah, oh for sure in WWE for sure. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. So, yeah, but yeah, those are those are good shows. And now my son won't watch wrestling with me or go to wrestling, and he's actually staring out, out the window at me because he's being a giant asshole. He thinks I'm going to throw him on a plane to California tomorrow. Why? Why would you so, do that? Because he don't have school next week, so he's like, oh. I want to go to California to see my friends. I was like, it doesn't work like that. You don't just get on a plane at 16 years old by yourself to go see your friends. I mean, you can if everyone's like, on board, but but well, I don't know, plane plane tickets are so expensive. Right, right, right. Yeah, that, well, that's what I'm saying. Unless he's getting himself a ticket and 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 bringing money with him to eat and whatever while he's out there, you know, to, right. you yeah, know, he's like, no money. Yeah, he's concept of money for that kid is foreign. Seriously, oh, it's like 1,200 bucks. I'll pay you back. I was like. Fuck you paying me back twelve hundred bucks. You don't even have a job. <laughs> when he's when I can't he's, even get you to bring the garbage pills in. When he's thirty, he'll pay you back. Right. So, yeah. But side note, I just caught a glimpse of myself in the in the reflection in the mirror and I am fat. Holy <laughs> shit. What do you do about it? I started my diet today. Next week, next week. I got <laughs> can always eat. 
<laughs> November seventh, buddy. I got cannolis to eat. You're under. You're under two months now. What? We don't even know. We know there's a date. Do you want me to call What's Billy right mean? now and find out? No, don't do that. Don't you do that? <laughs> if if we don't weren't if we weren't nearing an hour, uh, I would definitely do it right now. <laughs> I'll text him. Yeah, you, you said him. that last week. <laughs> Still, I just texted him. No, you didn't. You're such a liar. I did. I said, any word on the show, and then I wrote canceled. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's funny. I doubt it is because. Uh, Dave is still training at CCW with everyone. He's yeah, but he's running the he's schools. Not pro- he's not promoting it. Yeah, I don't. You would think if there's a special benefit show on November seventh, right? That uh, you know, two months out, you would start kind of. Yeah, you're right. They should be promoting right. it, but no, no one's ever accused anyone down here of being a good businessman. So <laughs> this is true. You know. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. All right. Well, well, uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll come back with an update next week here. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Still on. He wrote at the CCW arena, unless there is a change. And then he wrote, "Your fat ass will not be ready." <laughs> That's, th- this is true. I he must be a prophet to know such things. <laughs> I wrote. I just wrote him back and said, "I'll be ready. Relax." Oh man. <laughs> You're really, All right, next week we start training. You're in real big trouble. I got a month and a half. I'm good. We got to fly you to Siberia and have you running up yeah. up mountains <laughs> with snow and logs on your shoulders. Yeah. Rocky Four. Rock, like a Rocky. Like Rocky, a Rocky. Rocky Four training. You can yeah. we'll get one of those. Uh, we'll get a drone and get a get a shot of you standing on top of the mountain yelling, uh, yelling, yeah. Billy! <laughs> Billy! <laughs> All right, well, at least we know he's going to kill me. Yeah. So. All right. Well, yeah, I, All don't, right. I don't know. I mean, if you're going to die anyways, why, why die healthy? Yeah. <laughs> right. I'll be ready. I'll start training next week. We're going into full-on training. With, I'm going to document this as a, like a, I am. I'm going to document the whole thing. No, you're not. A, no, you're not. That's, I am. That's actual work. You will not do it. You I'm say documenting you. this. Oh, okay. So that what you're saying is you're hiring mm-hmm. someone. No, no. I mean, if TK lived closer, I would, but he's too far, <laughs> and I wouldn't pay him. But yeah, you couldn't. You couldn't depend on him to show up on a on the regular, anyways. It's true too. Plus, he's weird. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I gotta go. I gotta eat something. My time of eating is coming. My window of eating is coming to an end here in a couple of days. So. Hey, you got cannolis. Right. Yeah, cannolis. Eat while while your Giants lose. Yeah. I can't breathe. I look in the oh, my stomach is so big; it's disgusting. Yeah, I, I it sticks out further than my chest. This is a problem, bro. <laughs> it, it, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I've I I've been telling you those TikToks are. are uh, I I, uh, I could I could see you the in shirt them. I'm wearing. Just from. <laughs> yeah, also, a lot of times you don't take the the most. Uh, you don't take the uh, fat girl angle when you're shooting your videos. <laughs> You need to have yeah. it has the the camera has to be above your eyebrows. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, I, I gotta change that. It's gotta it's gotta right. be shooting down. All right, buddy. That's enough. We're uh, done. You're you're beating me up enough. Goodbye. Okay, bye. <laughs>